Well, hello guys. Um, I was just eating my dinner and I suddenly thought I should probably intro this video now because I've got to get up at 6am tomorrow and the chances of me remembering to introduce this video are slim. So um, ignore the state of me. It's the end of the day. I've washed my hair, I've washed my face, etc. Anyway, I am going to Crufts tomorrow. I am going to the Discover Dogs area, which from my understanding is an area where all loads of breeds of dog are to sort of describe to people who are potentially interested in that breed um, what to look for, things like that. Um, kind of similar to my YouTube video, but a real life version. <laughs> um, and I'm going with Elsa, my mini long, and Norma, my mini long, who you will know because I've just done a couple of videos on her and she is only 10 months old, so you probably remember her. Um, so I'm going to that. I have never been to Crufts before. I have never really even watched Crufts, so I don't know much about what's going to happen. I've opted to take Elsa's just super chill, blase about life, so she's going to be super easy. Um, I've opted to take Norma because I've taken, honestly, I've asked so many people because I'm on the line of She's come out of her season about a month ago. She's in a fear stage. Um, we're working on things. We're doing clicker training with her, which I could do a video on. Comment below if you want to see that. Um, so I, I was indecisive. I was like, is it just going to be overwhelming and, and sort of undo our training and stuff? But I've been told by people who are very experienced in going to crafts that the Thursday is quiet um, and that because dogs are on lead and people are polite, because it's a dog place, most of them own dogs and know how to treat dogs, um, that I should be quite, it should be quite a good place to socialise her, because as I say, everyone will be on lead, everyone, she'll be in a, I'm actually going to take Nemo's buggy, she's in a pen anyway, but I'm going to take his buggy as like an additional security, um, so I can just put her at the back of the pen if she seems overwhelmed, I've got loads of chew toys, actually I should probably take you through my bag at some point, yeah, so actually I'll list you my bag. So in the bag, I've put a bunch of chew toys, um, chew toys, chews, not chew toys, like food. Um, so like I've got pig snouts, uh, cow ears. I've got some squeezy cheese. Um, I've got my clicker cause I've been doing clicker training with her. So I just want to take that to keep it up. I shouldn't have done this video after I've eaten cause I'm really bloated now. <laughs> um, what else have I got in my bag? A water bowl, I've got blankets and a bed, I've got the buggy, I've got my camera, but I'm going to film on this camera because this is my phone, by the way, that's why the quality is terrible. Um, but I just can't be bothered to get my camera out and I'll be too embarrassed. Um, so what else have I got? Maybe I'll go through my bag when I arrive, just in case I've forgotten anything. Um, yeah, so I've opted to take her. I will let you know whether it was a good or a bad decision. I'm hoping it's a good decision. I've really weighed it up. I've not jumped into this um, lightly. I've been talking to people for about three weeks because I just couldn't decide. Um, but we've been doing really well with her training. Um, and she loves people. It's just mostly dogs and like loud noises and stuff. Um, but I've heard that the place is noisy anyway, which then she can't like zone in on one loud noise, if you know what I mean. So yeah, I'm going to take her. I'll let you know how that goes. Um, and someone else asked me to sort of go around the stalls and then video which stalls I thought were the best um, or what things I thought were the best to do at crafts or what it was like going on a Thursday. I am also going on Sunday, so I might vlog a bit of the Sunday as well. So then you can see the comparison between the two days because Sunday's meant to be a lot busier than Thursday. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to take you on my journey. I've got to get up at 6am. It's at Birmingham. It's about two and a half hours from me. And I'm running the store with one of my Nemo and crew reps and a friend of mine called Shannon. She's got two mini longs with her as well. So yeah, you'll probably see her later. And yes, I think that's it for now. Um, the next clip will probably be either me stopping to get a chai latte <laughs> or fuel or at the Birmingham NEC. Just 
outside trying to get them to wee. I've not done any videoing because it's been utterly mental. Literally, people after people come into the store. So, um, just trying to get her to wee. But so far, we've had no wees the entire day. She's slightly worrying. But we're just trying on this patch of grass that I've found. Hopefully, she will go. But um, I don't know if this video is really going to have anything in it. <laughs> Because it's been absolutely mental on the stall. Where now? Over there? So, me and Shannon have had the first break that we've had this entire day. What time is it? Three o'clock, and this is the first break we've had. <laughs> the puppies are in there. There's the others. Oh, look at them. <laughs> so, yeah, not a lot of a video today, unfortunately, because we've been literally just speaking to people all day. And now I want to eat a sandwich. We're now going shopping because we've been told we can leave. There's the top corgi stall, but there's none left. <laughs> in your ear. Look <laughs> at the state it? of that. Have you need a brush. Minutes. That's minging. Not long. Not long. <laughs> Hello. You definitely can oh, do look this. at the yawning. <laughs> Elsa, is that comfy or what is that? Is that comfy? <laughs> ah, I see. Right. What's your paw doing? What's that sausage paw doing? Look at the state of them. Now oh, that is tired sausages. There's a tired sausage. Oh, there's a good girl. There's a good girl. You've been very good today, haven't you, all of you? Yeah. So at this point, it is the end of the day. I think it's about half past six. We waited for the crowds to clear so that we could not have to queue with the dogs. Um, so we're just letting them go for a wee or trying to. I'm not sure if they did or not. Uh, I didn't get many clips. I tried to get some clips of just the atmosphere in general so that you would get a vibe for what Crufts feels like just walking around and it's pure hecticness. Um, but other than that, we were pretty much stuck at the stall, people cuddling the dogs. And I just wanted to put here, Norma was absolutely good as gold. She loved all the attention. She didn't so much love all of the dogs around the rest of the hall, but she loved it. any filming I think the occasional video so we filmed Elsa and the big long sausages um, I'll do a sit down recap after today because it's too nuts but here's Elsa and a cup, cup of tea and so we <laughs> so we've just walked back to the van because we missed the bus and they're only every half an hour um, this has been crazy Elsa's soaking wet <laughs> I'm soaking wet um, I haven't, what I wanted to do was a bit of a vlog going up to different stalls and like, <laughs> sorry, uh, do a bit of a vlog going up to different stalls and stuff like that, but it's honestly impossible. Like, it's crazier than you could imagine it. So when someone says to you it's busy, they mean you literally can hardly walk. Like, you're stuck in tunnels of people. There's nowhere to sit at any point particularly. Like, there's cafes, but they're always busy. It's just rammed, basically. Um, I think there used to be this like thing where people thought if they went they'd get loads of samples and come back with loads of samples but 
the consensus this year has been that there's not really many samples there's more so like competitions to enter at stalls and stuff like that to win rather than like samples to take away um so if you're thinking about going for samples i'm not sure that it's really i don't know the best place to go for that um i was just trying to get dry bless her uh i will maybe when i get home like just do a little sign off and like I don't know but what I might do is just say to you guys like if you want to comment below any questions you have then let me know um, but I'll probably do a bit more of a in-depth sign off once I'm home because it's late now it's quarter to six we got here at one oh, my hair's soaked oh it's so wet um yes so many companies though if you're coming to find new small businesses and businesses apparently it didn't used to be as busy for small businesses but this year there's been loads um if you're coming to spend money then great because there's loads of money you could spend. If you're coming to look at different, um, what does that say? I've just got a message. Um, anyway, if you're coming to look at different breeds because you're unsure what breed to get, 100% this is probably one of the best things you could go to for that. They've got everyone so, gives you so much in education on the breed. And yeah, that's probably what I would say is the best part of crafts, which is the discover dogs area. Um, what else can I say really? I don't really know. Oh, I can't think of anything else to say. If you're coming to shop, bring a trolley because you're going to spend money and you don't want to carry it around because it's a long walk around the whole entire place. If you are coming to look at different dog breeds because you're thinking about getting a dog, perfect, definitely come. If you're coming to get samples, probably not the place to go. Um, and if you're coming to just watch the dog show, then yeah, it's super cute. And um, I think you need extra tickets for certain areas, so make sure that you get the right tickets. But yeah, that's sort of my really quick roundup of crafts and if i think of anything else i'll add it to the end of this video and if not pop it in the comments and i will answer it yes thanks guys